Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. This video is one that is so near and dear to my heart because it's one I never thought I'd get to make. We are going to change our son's nursery into one for his little sister and I can't wait to show you how we did all of this along with some pregnancy clips. Here we go. I'm not gonna cry over wallpaper, I'm not gonna cry over wallpaper. Okay, so we are going to jump straight into showing you what we did. I will talk more about design in the room and why it's so special throughout this video. But the first thing we did was window trim and then we moved on to adding the beadboard. This was our first time working with beadboard and I have to say it was so much easier to work with than doing like a board and batten or any type of other wall feature that we've done. It comes in four by eight sheets like you can see here. And because we're doing the vertical stripes, we had to use the, it'd be four feet tall. So we wanted five foot section. So we used a five inch baseboard and then also a five inch header. And then we used a one by two on its side to create like a nice little cap. And then it was pretty easy for Scott to work around things like the windows or outlets. You just are able to measure and figure out where you need to cut. He like drew out an outline of like that window and just used a jigsaw to get it right. And what I noticed is it's a very forgiving product in the sense that you can really fill in areas that you might have taken too much off with caulk. As long as it's not a huge hole, I was able to fill a lot of these areas and it looks perfect. Once all of the beadboard was up, I went through and filled all the nail holes and all the seams with wood filler. So you can probably do caulk in the seams, but I found wood filler to work really well because I was able to sand it and basically mold a groove into this spot. So the seam is actually on the left here. You really can't even tell that there was a seam. Next, we're moving onto the closet. I was planning originally to just add closet doors back onto this closet, but then I just couldn't leave the black. I knew at some point I would regret not just painting it. So I used Classic Gray by Benjamin Moore and painted over the black in here. I really did love this black little closet for a while, but seeing it bright and airy now, it just gives it such a different feel. And you'll see at the end, it just looks like a little boutique closet almost. It turned out really good. So these walls that connect to the closet, we ended up adding more trim to it to really finish off this beadboard area. We added just a wide board on this small wall because a thin piece of beadboard just didn't look right. This will get caulked in that area between the board and beadboard.
Then I went in with caulk and caulked all the seams on the beadboard window trim. We still have to finish up that door trim, so don't pay attention to that. But you will caulk in the corners of the beadboard and the top seams. Basically anything that you like couldn't get nail or wood filler in, you'll use caulk. This is when this room really started to come to life. This color is semi-precious by Valspar and I got it color matched at Home Depot in Bear Marquee. This was my first time using Marquee and spending a little bit more money for paint and it was one of the best decisions I have made. I will never go back to using a cheaper quality of paint. This stuff was just so good. I said earlier this was the first time we used beadboard first time I've painted beadboard so it took me this entire wall to figure out an easier way to do it so you will go in and cut at the top and the bottom because you can't get your roller in this area work in small sections here but you will go I did like three to six I guess uh, of these stripes like three of these like column areas I don't know what to call them but you'll go in with like a good amount of paint on your brush and get the lines only so you're not gonna worry about the flat part just get the grooves get your roller and I did use a foam roller for this and you're gonna get your roller pretty saturated then you're gonna do my roller fit three of the flat parts at a time so you just roll over the flat part and keep going this was the best way that I was able to paint the beadboard instead of at first I was just using the roller and like trying to get it in the grooves and it just wasn't working very well I think it's easy to watch these type of videos and just think oh it's so easy for them to do this like why can't I or why was this hard for me and I just always want to be reality over here and it took me days to do this I was nine months pregnant basically in labor actually in this clip I was starting to be in a three-week labor process and I just want to you know let you know that these take time especially if you are pregnant right now give yourself grace don't be so hard on yourself i know it's easier said than done as you'll see soon but just you know try to enjoy the process of creating a room for your baby and don't get hung up on trying to make things so perfect So speaking of getting things perfect, I had a full on mental breakdown over this wallpaper. So I did the wallpaper in our laundry room and I loved doing it. It was really fun for me. So I was like, I'm going to do this whole room by myself while pregnant. Like, yes, I got to this point and I was sweating. My hands were shaking. I kept messing up the panels and I realized there is no way I can do this right now. I had to get rid of my pride and ask Scott to take over, which was really hard for me to do. One, because Scott has an intense fear of stickers. And I don't mean like, ah, stickers. It's like they make him like physically ill. It's like a true phobia type of thing. Um, so this was definitely hard for him to do. But beyond that, my hormones wouldn't let me just give this over to him. And here's like a clip of me literally breaking down over this. Are you sad that I'm doing this now? It's just... Here we go. I'm not gonna cry over wallpaper. I'm not gonna cry over wallpaper. I don't like that I can't do this one. You can't. 
you are nine months pregnant. Nine months pregnant. I hate that I can't do it this time. It's okay. It's just annoying. Oh. And the thing is, knowing I like this up, it's like, okay, I did that. I know what I did wrong. Why don't you just blame it on me? If you f one up, I'm always going to stare at it and be like, should I have done that myself? So I made him sit and watch how-to videos and he got right to work. Again, it took a few days to finish this room and he did a great job. If you're wondering what I'm doing, just staring at what Scott's doing, that's what I'm doing. I'm staring and making sure that he has everything lined up, that he's cutting the right areas off, that all the air bubbles are out, and basically just micromanaging this whole process because like I said, I just couldn't let it go that I wasn't doing this. While we cover up the black and white wall, I figured it was a good time to share the story of this room. We have two other boys and we thought we were done at two. So getting the surprise that we were pregnant with number three was honestly shocking. And then when we found out it was a girl, it was even more of a surprise and shock than we could imagine. When I found out I was pregnant with our second son, I really mourned not having a girl and obviously I would not trade him for anyone in the world but you have these dreams and you know future visions of having a family and I always saw a girl in it and finding out that that wasn't going to be a possibility it was hard for a long time. So finding out we were gonna get that chance was very special and I wanted to create this room basically like a dream. I wanted to put everything in here that I could have wanted as a little girl. And obviously if she hates this, we'll change it. And I know we're gonna be changing things as she grows. And you know, if she hates pink and flowers, then we'll change it. But for right now, when I get to decide what this room looks like, I'm basically going to live out my, you know, childhood fantasies of a, you know, vintage princess fairy tale type room. With having pink walls and a floral print wallpaper, I knew the details in this space were gonna have to be a little softer and tie everything together. The gray on the scallop ties to the gray in the rocking chair. The wood tone of the name board ties into the closet. There's a story behind every piece in this room. You try, do you know I'm looking? As a reminder, here is what this room looked like before, and 
I just can't believe the change. Is this even the same space? It is just so much more bright and airy and it just feels like a dream. This moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment, can we stay here to You can find blog posts on every part of this room from the DIY side to the products used. I have that all linked below in the description box for you. I really hope that this video inspired you in some way whether it is some decorating ideas for your nursery or a color inspiration to go pink i just want to thank you so much for watching and i hope you have subscribed if you haven't already i wanted to share some sweet footage of scarlet and i just wanted to thank you again and i'll see you on the next one i put your favorite song on just to wake you up when I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time.